Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we are here for the BN304 Industry Phase 2 project uh, presentation, and uh, we are from Group 10. Uh, myself, Dinesh, and uh, uh, my group members are Suraj, Hari, Arjun, and Pradeep. Uh, our project name is Monitoring Temperature and Humidity via Sensors based on Bluetooth Protocols. And our client's name is Mr. Dominic. Mr. Dominic is from Outcome Down Life, and our supervisor's name is Ms. Samira. So today's agenda of discussion is uh, mainly focused on the introduction and background of the project with, along with its objectives, different methodologies used in the project, uh, different requirement specification, system integration, uh, testing, market analysis, and so on. And we will provide you with three minutes time for the questions and answers, please wait for that. To introduce our project, our project is basically an innovative idea that has been proposed by client to reduce the losses that can be caused in the storehouse of food and beverage industries due to the fluctuations in the temperature and humidity of the suddenly specified area. Uh, for this, he wanted us to uh, integrate the available devices in the market and the different methodologies available in the market and create a new network. The project objectives. The main objective of the project is to monitor the temperature and humidity using a smart sensor. And we need to design a sample error system that will notify the users. And we need to make the make a network that will be reliable, economical, and highly performable in its uh, attribute. And we need to research, analyze, and conclude market area for the in product that we are going to develop. For this part, I would like to invite Mr. Suraj to, for the further discussion. Thanks, Dinesh. So, in the initial phase of the project, basically in BN301, we suggested the client with, uh, with two of the methodologies. One was based on the GP, other one was based in the Bluetooth. Uh, according to the client's stand, we started working on the ZP and we searched some, for some devices and gathered some devices like we use the sensor CC2650 which is a smart sensor and we use the bigger one black wireless which is a, a mini computer that is able to communicate with different devices and uh, we use the wireless connectivity kit that, that has ZP in it and we configure the bigger one black using the PC uh, so that we can communicate with the sensor CC2650 and get the data. But while doing so, we fell in some configuration issues. There were there was a present of the some fatal errors that we were not able to fix for like two three weeks. And due to the delay issues, we had a discussion with the client, and we changed our mind to change the scope from the GP to Bluetooth methodology. Bluetooth methodology, as I mentioned before, was discussed with the client uh, in the initial phase of the project. And for the Bluetooth methodology, we need we had to change the device. Uh, we changed the wireless connectivity cable, and in place of that, we replaced it with the Bluetooth Low Energy Micro Adapter, and we fixed some Bluetooth protocols, uh, and uh, then we tried to communicate with the sensor tag using Bluetooth. And this was all done by the PC as before, and any changes in the uh, bigger one wireless was supposed to be uh, given uh, as an alert to the user. As I mentioned before, we use the sensor tag CC2650 for the project. It is a smart sensor and has an ability to measure like 10 sensors. Some of them are temperature, humidity, light, magnetometer, accelerometer, and etc. And we use the bigger one black wireless. We use the Bluetooth connectivity kit. And some of the software like we use Beauty, linear security, linear security system, Acer, uh, Python, uh, some configuration codes, Cloud9, Nano Editor, and Mini Editor, and GitHub. Uh, for the project. So the implementation block diagram. We went through the several stages in this second phase of the project and while doing so, when the project was initiated, we did some risk assessment because we changed the methodology. So what, what kind of risk is uh, going to happen? Like we research on the, some vulnerabilities that will present in the wireless network. We, uh, we contributed the risk related to the ZigBee network and we moved on, uh, moved on to the uh, Bluetooth network. And we planned the work program structure, we divided the work among the group members, what kind of work needs to be done in a weekly basis. And after that, we researched and did some configuration, uh, research on the coding and configuration uh, from the different sources. We assembled the uh, hardware, we reconfigured on the build queue, and we got the sensor readings. After that, we created a sample alert system 
to notify the user about the, any data that comes into the uh, bigger one. And we did the testing on various level that will be discussed later on. And after that, we did the system security assessment. And today we are doing the demonstration of the project. I would like to invite Arjun to discuss on the next section of the presentation. Thanks, Suraj. So the system integration. First of all, we assemble the devices as mentioned by Suraj, and we did uh, logged into the bigger one by using Qt by using its static address 192.168.7.2 and we did SSH to it and the home page of the bigger one is passes out and we log into it using the username and password after that we updated the bigger one and we installed Bluetooth in the bigger one using sudo apt-get install Bluetooth command after installing Bluetooth we scanned the nearby Bluetooth devices around the bigger one like one of them was sensor tag. All of the MAC address of the Bluetooth devices were retrieved, and as we can see, there is a sensor on it, and we are going to use this MAC address to retrieve the sensor readings later on. Then we connect it to the sensor using that MAC address and get to the command. And you can see this connection is successful over here. After that, like we could do it by step by step, but to make our life easier for the users later on and to make a systematic approach to get the six readings, we built a Python script. We did some codings, we learned the Python skills, and then generated a Python file. That we, you can see the course over here. We named that Python file as allsensor.py and we used the MAC address of the bigger one and we used the some notifications like T for the number of the readings. T for, uh, T, for the, uh, T for the time interval between the readings, N for the number of the readings, capital T for the temperature, capital S for the humidity, and we use this command, Python or sensor.py, to get the readings. After that, we retrieve the temperature and humidity readings of that specified time. All of, uh, now, I would like to invite Harvey to discuss on the next section of the presentation. Thanks, Arjun. So, as mentioned by Arjun, we retrieved the reading from this instead. We sent this, those readings into a .txt file format in the bigger one, which can be sent to the website later on, which is not the part of our project scope. You can see the temp file.txt, that's the name of the file. And testing, every project should have testing phases. We did lots of testing, some of them are like unit testing, we tested each of the devices, sensor, bigger bone, wireless connectivity cable, BLE adapter, PC, if they are functional or not. And after that, we did the integration testing, we combined all the devices, we assembled them, and then after that, we tried to configure if they are working or not, and we set it. And after that, we did the connectivity testing, we used the Bluetooth protocol to connect the sensor to the bigger bone, and we check if it is connected or not. You can see in the uh, you, you, you have already seen in the uh, previous slides the connection was successful. And the data accuracy testing, after getting the reading from the sensor, we got the temperature and humidity uh, readings. And this data needs to be assured if it is accurate or not. For that, we use the thermometer and mobile applications to check if the given data is accurate or not. A market analysis. As a part of the project objectives, we had to do the market analysis. Uh, we suggested the client as the client was only focused on the food and beverage industries and then we suggested to him like if this, uh, as the system is built we can use this in the restaurants, pharmacies, shopping centers, food delivery vans as a store ha storehouse guard like you can see the temperature and humidity and it can notify the users about any changes in the uh, readings and the, to analyze our project result our project was a successful innovative idea of the client and it is a new methodology in the internet of things you can see the similar projects are going around in the world but most of them are unsuccessful and we use the bigger bone black instead of the raspberry pi in the similar projects and we completed all the project requirements we made the connection between the bigger bone and sensor we uh, got the reading from the sensor we did the risk assessment we concluded and analyzed we analyzed and concluded the market for the product and i would like to invite Pradeep for the next section. Thank you, Harry. Uh, so, 
as we have uh, completed all the project requirements, uh, for the future, we still have some works to be done. Uh, the data that has been stored in the .txt format, it can be streamed in the website later on in the new projects. And in addition to that, we can modify the alert system by you know, using the email, message, or phone call system uh, that can be generated from the system to the user. We can connect multiple sensors to the network. However, we have just done the connection with one sensor in our network. Skills learned from the project. While doing the project, apart from the academic skills that we have learned, we learned many more skills. Some of them were like interacting with the real world client. We learned together the requirements in the various fields like hardware, software, time requirements, uh, non-functional requirements, functional requirements in the real world. We, we learned to configure the Internet of Things devices like BeagleBone, Smart Sensors, uh, Raspberry Pi, and so on. We used the GitHub uh, website to retrieve the course that has been shared by the expertise. And uh, we learned some Python coding language skills and the use of the Nano, Beam, and Cat editor. And in addition to that, we developed our analytical capability in us to choose the best product, best system, best methodology for our project. And finally, we learned to use the Slack application to communicate with the client and the team members and the supervisor that will be useful in our industry uh, career later on. Liberation and conclusion. As I mentioned before, our project was successfully completed. We had used the project, uh, complete project methodology like uh, requirement analysis, design, uh, implementation, and testing, and so on. Uh, however, while doing the risk assessment, we found out some vulnerabilities related to the wireless networks like confidentiality, integrity, and authentication issues. Uh, this can be fixed by using the cryptographic algorithms like encryption, hashing, and so on. Uh, all of the research have been done from these sources. However, we still have some other sources that have been used from the website, reports, and conference uh, proceedings, and so on. Any questions, please? Call them